Alrighty. Got the intro a little bit short. Going an accepted ITSL matchup number six. We're just going to pretend the first five games didn't happen. And we'll take it uh, a quarter of a season at a time. So fresh start will be zero and zero from, from now. And we'll be playing as USA against Severino. There is a 15 minute delay on. As we uh, have a typo for a question mark. <laughs> Questioning whether we're going to have a good game or not. Uh, Alright, we got Europe. Uh, and defectors and not the greatest ops in this hand. Um... Yeah, probably just doing defectors and then give him the coup of Italy if he wants it. Holding Comic Con for blockade. It was an interesting schedule in this one. Our opponent is UTC plus eight, I believe. And we are minus seven, so 15 hour difference here. He's gonna take the coup. Uh, Veron. Rolls a one. Question is, do we want to go Malaysia or Pakistan? I'm kind of worried about, wish I had a three app card here, but I don't. Could drop Middle East for zero, but oh well. I think I like Malaysia slightly better than Pakistan. I don't think I'd get mill ops if I went into Pakistan, he coup Pakistan, I score Europe, then he coups again. Let's see what happens though. See how good his hand is. At least we didn't get purged, but we had defectors. We can just score Europe and then he blockades us. Then we'll throw a two op into West Germany, I guess. Definitely a weak hand here. Could have maybe just used the two op and kept Comic Con. Hmm. So he's going to counter. Well, if he's got IP war, if he wants to take the coup, we're just SOL out of Asia, I think. He'll score Asia, we'll score Europe. And we're stuck with one-ups. Okay, very good for us. Kind of want to coup though. Nasser's kind of risky. I don't think he has Middle East. I think he has Asia. We let him coup Pakistan. 
I think so. Another option I was thinking about was eventing Nasser and cooing Egypt. That's kind of risky. The challenge of the 20th century is the challenge of human relations. He does have age, he's just gonna take it. Okay. This way, at least we'll get Lebanon. And now he just might score Middle East if he has Middle East. It looks like we're going to be holding Vietnam, which is unfortunate. Unless he gives us containment. And we might just go through Thailand. Leaving Lebanon is kind of scary, though. Also need more mill ops here. So our opponent could do something annoying like break Italy. And he probably got a nice big four up here. Oh, he's just playing for ops, all right. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna be doing Lebanon, I think. I mean, we could let Defcon go up to five, but I don't want to lose two mill ops. Just lose the one. And I don't really want to risk cooing Egypt here. Hoping for a five or six. Oh, let's just risk it. We rolled a what? A two? Alright, well, we rolled a two again. So risk does not pay off. Luckily, we draw Middle East, though. <laughs> Once again, purge would not be nice. And it's likely it could be purge here. Also, I haven't seen decal D stall, which is also scary. So we're definitely going to be playing into Thailand immediately. Maybe we just five year plan, I guess. Our headlines are garbage. Either that or Fidel. I your plan is some good stuff to get hit. Marshall plan, containment, duck and cover. Gonna see Deco. Okay, at least it's not a blank. We're gonna lose out on Thailand. It will give us the coup though. Considering we hold Middle East, we might go Egypt. Now he's going to take the kill. It's going to be a very scary Middle East now. So if we take Thailand, he's just going to take Pakistan. The China card. Do we give up Thailand though? Or the China card? Maybe he won't use China, but he probably will. Presence is going to be a problem in the Middle East now that we lost Lebanon. I'm going to have to give up Fidel. More soft for blockade. Now he's going to just 
Leave Pakistan hanging, waiting for IP war again. Giving up Warsaw, so it's really no point in doing that. Ops are definitely a problem for us. Very scary with Arabs, really. We're just gonna avoid the war cards, hopefully. I guess. I don't even have a card I want to take Israel with. It is what it is. Hopefully, we can just avoid AI war and IP war. It means we gotta use Korean war. be great to have an op so we could like go Cambodia the hand is just awful again for ops not a great start there goes China Cambodia no Burma protecting yeah, makes Korean War slightly more playable. Yeah, not great. Not going to be able to protect Italy as well. Or France. I don't know what we could have done much differently other than not coup. Egypt twice was probably... Maybe a mistake. I wish he would play blockade so I can use this free up card. Could just risk it again and play through it. I think that's fine. We have Middle East now that we didn't play it there. You have Formosan active, so taking Japan and Taiwan could be good. Definitely don't have ops to do that. I guess we're holding Vietnam. Now there's blockade. We dodged a bullet there. Question is, do I want to go into Colombia? I haven't seen D stall yet. Indonesia blocks off domination for Asia. So perhaps Calif or Colombia, Indonesia. 
I also kind of like Saharan states. Israel is so scary. Not only does it flip eight influence, kicks me out of the Middle East completely. So maybe we somehow go one Jordan, one Indonesia. I don't think we can risk going Colombia or Saharan state yet. And Italy is, we're just gonna have to risk that too. We just didn't have ops on turn one or two. Bunch of four op cards left in the deck. Oh, yeah, do stall already. Now we could be in a lot of trouble. More so than we already are. Yeah, definitely want Indonesia. I think I want... I kind of want to go Colombia now that he went into Venezuela. He's going to be killing Panama. I'm just going to have to risk AI war and sock govs and a bunch of other crap. So far behind. At least we grabbed one of these four ops. And AI war. Whew, what a blessing. IP war still scary. Our opponent also drew CIA. Unfortunately, I don't have a way to lower Defcon. But it does mean he's going to give us a two with CIA. Does he have sock doves? He does have sock doves. So we have to lead Marshall, even though it won't protect Italy, he can still flip Italy. So maybe we just say screw it. I mean, he's gonna want to give up CIA though, right? So maybe we still do Marshall plan. That way we can put one into Italy, or two, I mean. And then he can't take Italy. But if he goes sock govs into CIA, he still can only put one op into Italy, and we can still take it. So maybe we just grab space. I mean, he could risk it and just hold CIA, which he might end up doing. But Marshall really doesn't change a sock dev's headline here. Good purge. What does purge do for me? Still doesn't protect Italy. He's got duck and cover in his hand, too. So if he drew duck and cover... You know, well, I mean, he's got duck and cover in CIA. If he redrew five-year plan... He's just dead? No. Because he just... Either way, he just lowers DEFCON. Because I can't lower it. Headlines. Um, if we don't go, not going. 
Playing Lebanon doesn't seem great. Placing one Venezuela isn't great, he just uses four up. Our efforts are made in the belief that men and nations can But that does give me US Japan. And that there are no international problems which men of goodwill cannot solve or, or maybe just use Venezuela. Uh does he have a way to get Melobs? Columbia. I don't know what I want to do. Who Nigeria? Or place Venezuela? I think he just goose Venezuela then. I don't like that that much. I think I like Zaire better than Nigeria to set up a real line of Nigeria. Nice big six. Hello. He's gonna space US Japan. Or Ducky Cover. Definitely spacing a rap Israeli. Venezuela. Yeah, we don't really care about that because we don't have Europe and he doesn't have Europe. How good is his hand drops here? Containment can't be used, that cover can't be used. US Japan would be great for us. So really that leaves Suez and Sakos. Two three ops. Kinda feel like I want to jam Venezuela. Either jam Venezuela or take Angola. We're gonna make him play his crap can and hopefully give us US Japan maybe. Gonna try and hold Sakovs, but I don't think he's gonna be able to. He's gonna need to play it for ops. So at least that will make Italy sort of safe for now. Oh, just gonna straight up give it to us. Okay, now we might audible and just take Taiwan. to hold Sakovs. I'm gonna make him not hold it. Go 
Looks like our opponent is not shy. Still can't decide if I want to take Angola or not here. Set up a better... Um, maybe we get rid of some of these two ops. We could just space here, I guess. I don't, I think he's going to overprotect Angola, though. And I kind of want to just take it. Because I'm, um, I want VP. I don't think he's gonna fight for South Africa. Maybe we we'll wait on South Africa. We need Panama and also Mexico. And we need to free up our hand. And we need to protect France and Italy. And we're just Black Ops headline's gonna hurt. We're gonna need a counter to it. I don't think I can spare three ops. Into Italy and France. Maybe I can. Maybe I'll just space here and see what he does. to start and I'm not going to be able to get my domination back in Europe okay, more influence we could be annoying and try and poke that way he can't and get mill ops. I don't know why I took Vietnam. Because I mean, if we poke, then we gotta poke again and then run in so much time here with this turn three, but we'll speed it up. He'll respond with containment. And hold sockups. So ultimately, we lose. Anyway, he's going to coup Columbia with a three out containment. We got to protect Italy, I think, and France. We can't just let him have sockups and get it off for free, right? That's so passive, I, I don't like it. He's gonna give us containment though, which is helpful. Cause then we could go one France, two Spain, or Greece, doesn't matter. Whatever. Well, I guess we gotta go one Panama too. One France, one France, one Panama, one Cameroon. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Not pretty, but we sort of protect against the. We also have Truman, so that protects more for Sakovs.
Nice grain cells would be great. Oh, brush worm, we'll take it. Also, Junto. We got some nice events here. Oh, yes, a little bit late after D stall. All thing. Nothing yet. Missile Envy. We're just screwed on Missile Envy. Better to brush or hunt to here. Hunt to Argentina. Giving salt. I guess. I don't know. What am I going to do about this gunman? Basic liberation holding gunman. Exactly. Still, you could get a domination here. Yeah, so that would stink. I believe that this nation should commit. Maybe we threaten two then. The that way, this but way, I'm not the poor Europe. Place Argentina to Brazil. And roll six. Five, I'll take it. Make him think twice about just dropping Europe here. And he's still gonna do it. It does mean uh, South America is better for us, but that means we gotta play salt for ops here. Which is sad. And then he's going to play Uruguay. We're just going to have to deal with that, I think. And then looking to brush for Venezuela. Another bad ops hand, though. Uh, yep, good old AI war. The dot's not that useful. Maybe we shouldn't have headlined Junta, but I still think that was better than headlining Truman, right? He still gets domination. Well, I guess he doesn't. Right? Yep, there's Uruguay. The only question is, are we brushing now? I think we are. We don't want to give up brush. And hopefully get there with Venezuela. Where do we take Paraguay first? Argentina realigns kind of scary too. The problem is like he can realign Brazil and then he's got a plus two on Venezuela versus a plus one on Argentina. And the worst. The worst. Risky. 
I, of course, because they're on the last one. Now we're stuck in this Brazil thing again. Maybe we'll end with OAS. And our, we just have no ops in our hand too. If I could just roll better, that'd be great. Just launch some one op coups with nuke subs. <laughs> What's our other option here? Taking Mexico, poking, going Uruguay. I don't like any of those. Man, I just want a good ops hand. Or, or three hand was good, right? Yeah. Still need to fix West Germany, France at some point. Now that we gave away Truman. Maybe we should have spaced lib theology there. Yeah, I think spacing was better. That way we could free hand. He doesn't have central. Obviously doesn't have liberation because we have it. Hunt is gone. So spacing liberation was probably better. Good event, OAS. Uruguay, Argentina. And he just repairs Argentina, Uruguay. But I have, I have two places adjacent to Brazil then. So maybe that's fine. That should at least let me stay in Brazil. He needs mill ops. Facing is next. I don't think it's that important to go into Uruguay right now. He's going to coup next. Cameroon is going to get cooed. I need the space. Maybe he'll just space back so it's for the double. Take a Hail Mary coup at Uruguay. Going to Saharan States, because he's going to coup one of them anyway. I mean, Egypt's already scored, but I kind of just want to take the battleground. He still hasn't. I got to punish him for not going into a battleground. Or cooing. What's more annoying? Venezuela is pretty annoying.
Not out of it yet. <laughs> that Europe swing was just huge, though. Tried to deter him with Junta, but he wasn't having it. And then he ultimately got real lines on Argentina anyway. After we rolled a five on Brazil. Did he take one out of UK? No. Yeah. Uh, give us mill ops. Okay, that is a that's a deal we'll take. <laughs> uh, not sure why he did that. It was only a plus one. I mean, you have your own influence. Just place influence and take it. Now I just might event Sadat for later in the game. Okay, we got IP War, very nice. Uh, we also have this blockade lone gunman combo, which is not nice. Maybe we bear trap, bear trap, missile envy. I think we missile envy. Better than bear trap, end with bear trap. We're gonna have to give up. China card though. And we'll have to throw China card into India, I guess. What your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. Yeah, that's better than rear guards. This might be better than bear trap though. Bear trap lets us get rid of gunman. If he doesn't lower DEFCON. We're gonna bear trap. And maybe get rid of gunman. Okay, bye China. Leaves us Formosan active, which is kind of nice. It is out. No grain sales, so we're happy to see that. Probably still in the deck. And now we can get rid of Gunman, I guess. Then he takes a coup of South America. I guess. Unless we want the coup and we just... I guess we can't now that we gave up China. He's going to see Missile Envy. If he takes a big coup on Venezuela. Or plays it safe with Angola. He could go Mexico, I guess, too. Plays it safe. Now I kind of want to realign. Take a shot at Angola. I do have two event cards in Nigeria. No. What am I placing influence if I do place? We just play South Africa. And then flip Nigeria or Angola if he doesn't protect it. Also have rear guards though. <laughs> rear guards could be a good event. Doesn't dump his high op guard. I can cover it is gone. Let's 
So Missile Envy could still be an event. You might have a blue co Oh, there goes Flower Power. And now he probably short up as uh Revolution, we got two free ops into Egypt, and then to to do whatever else we want with. And I guess we're holding blockade somehow. We had another four up. Should have prevented missile envy. Leaves Nigeria open. Plus one rail line. Do not have a good second. Oh, I have Cuba. Yo, let's go. That's how you roll, man. Dice are heating up. Still just gonna missile envy him. <laughs> we need mill ops. And the dice have cooled down. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. I mean, we could just space Muslim. Protect against one small step, right? Did that backwards. Could have spaced first and then evented IP war. Would have been great. Missile MVM with one card left. Uh, <laughs> then the wheel. <laughs> I mean, it's not a good play, right? I mean, breaking Panama suggests that he wants me to not event Missile Envy here. I don't care. No fear. Where did his second one go from? Malaysia? Okay, I don't care about Malaysia. Gives us more mill op points. ABM could get us into South America. I think we could have Central in his hand. ABM could give us an arms race. Hmm, I don't know here. Vectors were afraid of defecting Central or Asia. Could just take China card back. J. Well, 
I'm assuming we're just going to go Argentina here. I th was thinking about taking Cuba. dump central which if we get south out of it I would be happy definitely not getting arms race off now oh he's got a lead missile envy way to go us paying attention Do we just go central and risk him going into Paraguay though? Yeah, that makes him do a lot of things on his turn. I'll just make him uh, bend his turn trying to realign Argentina if he wants. Sorry, Justin. Hope is uh going into Paraguay. Hope is on a mission. Our goal is not the victory of might, but the vindication of right. Not peace at the. You might even just coup Paraguay here. But both peace and I would not fault him for that for sure. I mean, kind of want to hold OPEC, but we can't. I should probably have taken the China card back at some point this turn because he could just throw China card at Japan. And I can't do anything about that. It's a, I guess, event Usuri to India to North Korea. mistake of drinking too much might just use China card and flip out country in Africa I guess I don't know I mean Asia is not scored yet if I was him I might throw Asia or China into Japan misplay you should have put two ops into UK or well one op but you know what I meant break UK there this board suddenly feels a lot better Okay. 
Now, if he breaks, we're pretty much just going to let it happen. But we should hopefully still get central domination out of it. We protected Japan against China card, which I'm thankful for. You could just flip Cambodia, though, so... That could be a good play with China. Okay, not too worried about that. Finally, a break so we can play South America. He was uh, poking and prodding a lot, probably because he thought we had a bunch of scoring cards in our hand. Well, there goes Central or Asia. At least it will be back in the deck. Would have been much better if we could have scored that. Now we're kind of stuck with Summit in our hand here. Summit is plus three. Probably headlining VOA. What does our opponent have? Opponent drew central. Yeah, we're just going to lead VOA. I guess in case he redrew Africa, we take one out of Africa. I'm thinking is maybe Libya to force him to play ops instead of taking a coup. I think that's more. I guess that's better. I don't know. Twenty minutes on the timer. Don't want to leave myself not a lot of time for turn ten if we get there. He's got one. Uh, we got one small step. I was going to say he has one small step too, but we got it. Yeah, he's going to take the two. That's good for us. Oh, he's going to Mexico. That was uh, amazing for us. Was uh, very very good. Fidel is gone, so he can't take Cuba that way. He's just gonna give us the points. Makes sense. We're gonna overprotect Africa. We could have uh, played a three op card there. Actually, no, we could. Uh, yeah, Sudan. The three op card might have been better there. And we're not doing very well in space, neither one of us. There's no rush to space. I probably should have taken a non-battleground in Africa, but I don't think he has it because he would have dumped it there. 
Oh, cool. Zimbabwe next. Unless he does something. And that is uh, something. Seven, so Indonesia matters. We need Thailand. We care if he flips Algeria. We have shuttle in effect, I guess. Be eight, so we would still have to do something. We should have invented us, but yeah. Here in this hemisphere. And we hope around we need to the take world. Spain. God willing, that goal we need the coup. Changed. We got some things we need to do. Some housekeeping. Need one in Jordan. So Jordan, Europe, and Africa coup. And we're just going to be missing out, I guess, on... I mean, could flip it, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty important. Maybe he gives this China card back, although we're not going to be playing China. Could event how I learned. Grab two VP. Make Defcon go five. Camp David was played, so I feel a lot better about Israel. I'll tell you what, man. I was really scared this game. After that incredibly slow start. But we got there. For now, at least. I'm just taking my coup. If he has Middle East, he has Middle East, I guess. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. You ending. Nixon clutching onto that China card. Nice break there. I guess Europe is going to have to wait. There's Middle East. Today, today I say as long as this gate is closed. We also have Rush war again, so pretty good hand here again. That alliance was in the bin, but it's not. Oh, it is. I always click that remove. Uh, headline. Muslim headline would be quite annoying. What is it? What are we brush one? No. Nothing. We just play AWAC so he can't event Muslim on his turn. Doesn't seem great. Salting seems better. Salting make Defcon high. Grab Alliance. Is that too 
risky. Oh, for Alliance event nuke test ban. <laughs> Purge, all right, that doesn't really matter. Well, somehow. Produces backwardness because it does such violence to the spirit, thwarting the human impulse to create, to enjoy, to worship. This is current minus two, right? Are we just fixing that? We just play here for the win immediately in an event test ban somehow. Domination and lose. Man, I almost have domination in everywhere. This game turned out turned around pretty quickly. Yeah, I was really scared in the mid at the uh, early war. I he got both of his access cards on turn two, but his turn three hand wasn't great. We did it. We won. We're one and zero in ITSO. First five games didn't count. We're gonna focus on the next five. Did it, folks. We got there. W. I'm gonna end the stream. I might come back later after I get rid of the 15 minute delay. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.